Okay, so uh, if I come over here and type uh, FS um, to get the task record, you see this number matches the uh, number up there. FSA X crosstalk zero uh, X seven uh, F D one five O two eight. I enter the that's like the process ID it's actually uh, we just we just use the word task not process anyway if I do directory carriage return then uh, it sent that to this guy's input buffer now um, if we uh, we can do this with Adam as well Adam uh, Adam sits in a um, server tat, uh, server loop um, we don't need a carriage return with Adam. Anyway, uh, so he sits waiting. Um, Adam is like the, uh, is Adam's heap is like kernel memory. It never gets freed. So if you want something never to get freed, or you want code that that's never going to get freed, um, then uh, Adam include, and he'll include a file. So uh, we go to uh, um, demo... Demo graphics and uh, fish, and we add them include. Okay, so the wallpaper is uh, um, add them included. Um, now, if we say uh, um, task rep, this is a. Um, I don't use this very often. I just use a wallpaper normally. This shows a hierarchy of the tasks. Adam is the. Uh, First task created, and he has children on. Uh, on uh, he has the the. This is the the terminal task. This is the frame grabber that's making this video. Then the window manager updates the screen 60 times a second and does a couple other things. Um, then there's this there's a special server task for on each core. It's kind of like the atom for that core. Um, anyway, uh, if you click on these. It'll kill the task. We don't want to do that. Um, Adam never dies. His memory never gets freed. Anyway, uh, so the um, the uh, the uh, window manager um, calls this routine 60 times a second. To update the screen. It has a cache. Well, okay. First, it has a uh, uh, an array for. Uh, um, the text it writes the background, then it does the foreground. The foreground can be shifted according to uh, um, superscript and subscript and uh, uh, marquee. You see up there, there's a marquee that's done with uh, shifting it off the um, axis, any or off the uh, grid. Um, and it calls that, that update window we talked about earlier. Um, so the uh, the buffer is uh, eight eight bit together um, but uh, when it uh, oh it does the it does the mouse cursor and uh, then it uh, it converts it to four bit um, and uh, and it only uh, does what's changed it only only writes what's changed to the uh, the VGA memory um, that speeds it up a lot because uh, the VGA memory is slow but in a worst case, um, it, it, it doesn't speed it up. Um, so uh, uh, we're going to talk about the scheduler. Um, if we go to OS main, the scheduler uh, goes in a loop uh, round robin. And uh, it doesn't save segments. It just saves registers and breakpoints. Um, breakpoints get removed when breakpoints are associated with the task. I almost never use breakpoints. They're uh, with the window manager doing callbacks. The breakpoints are all sc screwed up. Anyway, uh, so uh, I, I do print F debugging. Um, anyway, uh, so the, it's round robin and uh, when it uh, gets to a task, it, uh, it checks if it's suspended or if it's waiting for a jiffy, um, wake jiffy. If it's not, it skips it, goes to the next one. Um, it has some uh, some flags for uh, hotkeys like uh, Control Alt X kills the focus task, um, Control Alt Delete reboots, Control Alt Tab switches to the next. Um, anyway, uh, so uh, it, um, 
now the multi-core uh, um, task stays in a uh, in a uh, loop uh, and um, it gets a timer interrupt 60 times a second it stays halted um, you can wake it with a uh, there's a uh, software interrupt that'll wake wake up a core um, non maskable anyway uh, um, a, you either do a job or you do a spawn um, a job is a one-time thing a spawn is a as a task so um, so the Seth task uh, either does the job that you tell it or uh, or it spawns a task and then it uh, continues um, so uh, multi-core is done uh, explicitly you, you tell what core you want doing a job anyway um, the timer interrupt lets it figure out how much idle time it has that's what, why it gets a timer interrupt um, so we're going to talk about uh, the file system uh, if it ends in dot z it's uh, stored compressed um, if we uh, copy or move it to a name without z then it's uh, uncompressed that's all there is to it um, so this this file is uncompressed um, now uh, let's uh, let's do a dump cluster or let's do a um, directory star true this cluster um, compressed uncompressed if you use the native file system it keeps track of the uncompressed size um, the fat 32 is all you need because you can the, um, grow files with the native file system you can't grow grow a file anyway um, so this tells the cluster uh, so uh, it's dump cluster uh, you give the cluster and then you, a bool for if you want to write so zero uh, X and then there's the cluster and we do want to write so uh, Here's the cluster. Um, so in the file, we're going to change uh, um, this text uh, D. Let's say F F F F, and um, it told us to press Escape, so we press Escape. Now we do a directory, and uh, now this file starts with D F F F F. Um, so we wrote to the cluster directly. Um, Anyway, uh, there's checksums when you use the uh, native file system, um, and it's 64-bit, but uh, it won't let you grow files. That's because there was a patent on the FAT. Um, so uh, now we're going to go look at... Uh, um, remember, I talked about uh, making a named name frame pointer basically this is the entry in the symbol table the task symbol table that has a value um, and uh, when we uh, want to make a noise like an explosion or something we make a, um, a record that that has the uh, high frequency the start frequency or the, the min frequency max frequency duration and then we spawn a task that that's in charge of that and um, we have to pass it uh, that uh, that record and it sticks it in its uh, symbol table and then when this task dies it, it knows that it can free that uh, anyway uh, so uh, that keeps it from uh, um, from leaking memory anyway uh, so the uh, the uh, the compiler has a uh, opcode table. Um, now, uh, the opcodes are, uh, there's no push AD. You can't push all registers. That only works in 32-bit mode. Um, all stack operations are 64-bit in 64-bit uh, in, in mode. That means if you push a 32-bit register, it pushes all 64 bits. It doesn't clear them. Now, XOR clears the upper 32, or move clears the upper 32. Um, so uh, now uh, push. Uh, my my assembler uh, doesn't recognize end of line. 
Um, so you, uh, it, it tells by context when, when the instruction starts and stops. Sometimes you need a semicolon like define byte or define U8. Anyway, you need a semicolon at the end of that. Anyway, uh, um, my, uh, my, uh, my compiler has a, um, a, uh, has an interrupt keyword. Um, so if we, uh, if we dump this, uh, unassemble address, uh, keyboard interrupt, interrupt handler, comma 100. Okay, so, uh, because we had an interrupt handler, um, because we had an interrupt key, because we had an interrupt keyword, um, it, uh, it uses a IRET, IRET when it exits instead of a normal return. I think it, it pushes the, uh, the registers. It doesn't normally push because it interrupts. You want to save the registers. Anyway, uh, so uh, my, my compiler has an interrupt keyword um, that's uh, like the old Turbo, Turbo C had that. Anyway, uh, so if you uh, go to the lectures, if you go to the lectures, PCI interrupt, um, these give some interrupt routines and end of interrupt tells how to do that. Um, so uh, there's a uh, PCI rep tells the, uh, looks up the PCI devices. Um, I only do HD audio, but that doesn't, uh, that support almost never works. So this tells the bus device and function. Um, you might want to know about that. Um, this is a nightmare. Uh, anyway, uh, um, another report is memory report. Um, memrep tells uh, the status of the heap, heaps and stuff. Um, so the low memory has uh, the OS main module and the VGA. And uh, the atom task has its own heap. Um, there's a, uh, it, this tells uh, just some, it's not 100% accounted for, but this tells um, the window manager has the buffers for um, the graphics and the device context and stuff. Anyway, uh, and then the other tasks, uh, there's an uncached heap. This is for uh, if you need to make, uh, uh, like for the uh, audio buffers, you want the audio buffers allocated off of uncached. For DMA, um, anyway. So you, when you uh, when you do uh, malloc, uh, you pass a heap control by default. Um, it's either a task or a, a heap control. It tells by the signature, anyway. Um, and uh, uh, there's uh, now there's something called the BIOS 32. Remember we did that PCI rep? Um, well, the um, PCI uh, registers uh, are accessed with a, uh, a special BIOS called, it's a 32-bit BIOS, so it has to change out of 64-bit down to 32-bit, and then it uh, lets you um, read and write the uh, PCI um, registers. Um, anyway, uh, you might want to, uh, to, when you're debugging, you might want to uh, intercept the uh, um, the fault handler, and uh, you could make uh, um, you recompile the kernel after you uh, put some uh, debug code in here. Anyway, uh, it's kind of tricky, but if you uh, that I just thought I'd let you know. Um, anyway, so. Uh, now there's map files. Uh, the way it knows symbols is uh, um, when when it boots, it loads map files, uh, and uh, map files uh, are for the main OS main and for the compiler. That's how it uh, that's how it uh, uh, starts. That's how it how it's able to do source debugging. It keeps track of line numbers and stuff. Um, it's actually uh, um, the map files are. Uh, are uh, have uh, binary data um, in their 